if the Lord's will, you're going to be worried. Somebody say peace over weary, over worry. 13, somebody say direction. Proverbs 3, 6, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. See? In all, not half your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall what? Direct your path. So look at somebody and say, I'm going to have direction. And what I like about it, see, sometimes the devil tricks us not to ask. Yes. See, but nowadays they got Google Maps, Choo Choo Maps, Waze, Devil's Waze. Everybody's got directions. But God says in all your ways. See, sometimes we don't want to acknowledge him with our weight loss problem. We don't want to acknowledge him in our attitudes. We don't want to acknowledge him in our relationships. Well, sometimes we just want to acknowledge him, how can I get more money? No, he said in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he's going to direct your path. Somebody say, I'm getting direction. Say it like you mean it. Say, I am getting direction. Number 14. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I mean, the Bible calls him the Holy Spirit, but, but the old uh, King James says ghost. I like ghosts. The Holy Ghost. <laughs> See, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is a promise. Just because you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit that, that made you born again, some of us don't have him enough that he has us. Right. That's right. You know when you're dating somebody and if you get really close, you become possessed. <laughs> See, come on, help me. You know, come on, when you have a possessive mate, you ain't gonna cheat. Where you going? To the store. I'm going with you. Why you say that to them? Why you why you always around them? Why you call them? See, 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 the Holy Ghost is supposed to be with you. But if you don't ask for him, he'll just be a, he'll be a little part of your life. But that's why I know for a fact everybody has as much Holy Ghost as they want. Because Jesus says this in Luke eleven thirteen, If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask of Him? See, the thing is, the thing is, somebody say, the thing is, you didn't ask. You just assume. Just because you are saved and He's in, you just assume. No, 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 you have to ask for him. Just like you call that bootleg boyfriend of yours. Or that begging girlfriend. You call them, don't you? And they come. But the more you spend time with the, that person, they start becoming clinging. Spend so much time with the Holy Ghost, ask for him. And before you know it, he'll be, asked, he'll be talking to you. Somebody say, I have the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Somebody say, oh, we almost finished. Man, we're going to be done. And don't be talking about we need an uh, afterglow. Jesus. Number 15. Somebody say, I'm going to be a giver. Just, be a giver. Just, only two people over here talking. Somebody say, I'm going to be a giver. Second Corinthians 9 8 says this, and God is able. To make all grace abound towards you that you always have an all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. God desires for you to be able to give to every good work. Right now, you just give to yourself. Come on. Sometimes a preacher got to try to manipulate to get $5 out of you. Think about it. See, because you're not able to be a giver. 
But the condition here was if you give. Yes. See? If you give, God will multiply your seed sown yes. and make you a giver. Yes. Somebody say, I'm going to be able to give yes. to every good work. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let me flip back over here. What number am I on? 16. Hey. I'm going I'm to mess the number system up again. <laughs> Somebody say, my needs. my needs. Philippians 4.19 says this, but my God, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. See? Another conditional blessing, because we always want to say, my God shall supply all my needs. What had happened was they gave. Uh -huh. See, many times money comes back from money. They gave. They gave. And Paul said, because you have supplied my need, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Paul said, I'm not paying you back. My God's going to pay you back. Somebody say, I'm about to be paid back by God. Somebody say, all my needs. Y'all have, I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting a little excited. But I just hope y'all with me at the end. Because I'm, once I'm done, I'm done today. My job was not to convince you. My job was to just tell you, let you receive it, and let God manifest it. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. We got, we got three more days to receive all this. God's not moved by the calendar. He's moved by your faith today. Now faith is. Somebody say abundant life. abundant life. John 10.10, Jesus says here, the thief cometh not, but for the steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. How many had something stolen from you? But now it's time to have more life. See, not just this life, but more of it. I don't know how to have abundant life. Only God knows. Must mean that I'm going to help more people than myself. I'm going to have so much life in me, you're going to benefit. I'm not going to pull you down. I'm going to be pulling you up. You need help? I got the help. I got extra life. Like little Abraham, right? You you play those little video games, whoop, 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 and they shoot your man, and whoo, no, 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 no. you lose a life. Then he got to go. I got like six lives left. I mean, don't 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 think I'm releasing a spirit here, but it's like those cats, right? You drop them out the window. You got it's like I ate more. Somebody say I'm walking into abundant life. Now, I'm not talking about eternal life. You already have that. But having life more abundantly. Everything about you is spilling over. You don't even have time to worry. Everybody want a piece of your life. You, you don't have to post it on Facebook, living my best life. No, 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 no. Everybody want a part of this. They won't party. No, no, no. You got a lot. You got a lot of life in you. So somebody say abundant life. Somebody say temptation. I forgot where I wrote this, but anyhow, the Bible says this. There is no temptation. First Corinthians taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Somebody say, my, somebody say, my days of falling are over. Right, see, he said with every temptation, he'll give you a way of escape. You just have to acknowledge him in all your ways so you can have the direction. 
I always use this because men, men are visual. Men, men get caught, you know, with their eyes, you know, looking at stuff they ought not. And when I first got saved, you know, I was looking at something that I really wanted to look at, but a bus came by. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And when I wasn't saved, I'd be like, move, bus, move. But now that I'm saying, God says, keep your eyes on the bus. <laughs> that was my way of escape. Come on. Let me tell you another thing. Somebody, when you give in to pain, that's it. Pain is a temptation to stay. I slammed my finger in the car door. And so my, my flesh wanted to say, ow. Ah! To give license to the thing to blacken my nail, bust my, you know. But I tell you this, no, I'm not going to say a word because that's a temptation. I have power over what's going to happen to this finger. So I said nothing. The blood started gushing out. And then God released me to say something. I said, praise God. Went to the restaurant, took a band-aid. No blackness. See, we get tempted. We get tempted to, to even fear. Yes. The Bible says, be not afraid of sudden fear when it comes. We get tempted to complain. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, not me again. You just was tempted. Somebody said, no more temptation. I'm taking my way out. You know, see, you got to understand something. Whatever is wrong in you, it doesn't happen without temptation. You can't sin anymore. The Bible says they that are born again, his seed remaineth in them and they can't sin. You have to yield to a temptation. In order for you to sin, you have to first be tempted. None of us just are straight up sinners anymore. I can't even get one amen. Amen. <laughs> 